Yo, what's up? Let's make a beat like K Trinata. Luis Kevin Celestine, better known as K Trinata, is a DJ and producer from Montreal, Canada. Known for his funky drums, groovy bass lines, and overall unique production. K Trinata was born in Port au Prince, Haiti, and moved to Montreal when he was a kid. In his adolescence, he was exposed to a lot of different types of music, from his father's old Michael Jackson and Kumpa CDs to his sisters playing Jay Z and Outkast music videos. K Trinata would just sit there and absorb everything he heard. His interest in music would carry over into his teens, where him and his little brother Lou Phelps would make songs together. His brother would rap and Kay would play the beats. At 14 years old, he started using a software called Virtual DJ, teaching him the basics of DJ. In the following year, his brother would show him how to use FL Studio so he can make his own beats. In his late teens, he kept up with the music making and started DJing at local clubs, and by 2010 he started uploading his music on SoundCloud under the name K Tradamus, usually making remixes of popular R&B songs. His first big hit was actually a remix of Janet Jackson's If, going super viral on SoundCloud and getting him tons of exposure. He signed with HW&W Recordings and later changed his name to K Tranata, touring the Americas and Europe while working with countless artists and producers from all over the world, releasing tons of singles and beat tapes. By 2015, he signed an exclusive deal with XL Recordings and began working on his debut album, 99.9%, .9%, an incredible dance record that was stacked with features. And after all the awards he won with this record, he would smash them in 2019 with his sophomore album, Bubba, peaking at number one on Billboard dance charts and winning him not one, but two Grammys. K Trinata is an incredible producer, one who fuses modern production with soulful instrumentation. And when his songs come on, you gotta hit the dance floor. Now I understand that K Trinata is very known for making beats with samples in them, but I wanted to make something a little different today. I mean, I could have just made some song with some bumping drums, added a funk sample to it, and said that's the video, but I wanted to give more shine to other sounds that he adds in his production, like his unique style of bass lines. K Trinata tends to pull a lot of inspiration from funk music, which utilizes a lot of syncopated bass rhythms. It makes the bass lines a lot more intriguing and danceable compared to if you were just playing the root note of the chord progression. And I love his idea of playing these intricate bass lines on a synth bass or an 808 instead of a bass guitar. It brings a lot of humanization to otherwise robotic synth sounds. For my track, I started off with this 808 and I started putting down a melody. Once I got the notes I liked, I started adding a bit of swing to the notes to make the bass feel less robotic. I put an EQ on it and a limiter for later. Kitchenada also likes to use a wide variety of synth sounds for his chords and melodies, like the use of electric pianos or harsh sliding synth leads. For the chords in my track, I made a preset in GMS using a saw wave and some portamento slide. All I did was play some minor and major seventh chords. It's very simple, but very jazzy. I also added effects like an EQ and kickstart for that sidechain effect. And I also added some reverb, stereo shaper, and delay to make it sound huge. And you know what else is huge? That's right, say it with me now, the amount of courses to learn on Melodics. Melodics is a desktop app that teaches you how to play the piano, helping you build your skills on your MIDI keyboard. With over 1,500 courses, lessons, and exercises, Melodics covers every aspect of learning the piano, from learning the notes and finger placements to practicing scales and hand coordination. And everything is organized in different lessons and courses, so you can improve exactly where you want to. Melodics keeps track of your accuracy and timing while you play, and gives feedback on what you need to work on. It makes learning the piano pretty fun and intuitive. And all the courses are designed with different genres in mind, so if you want to practice hip-hop, electronic, or jazz, Melodics has you covered. And as of recently, Melodics has added songs to their playlist, so you can learn how to play real songs from real artists. You can learn the iconic bass lines from Queen or even riffs from TLC, and Melodics will break it down to you note for note. And the knowledge you gain with Melodics can definitely be used outside of the app, like working on your own music, jamming out in a studio session, or even performing live. If you want to try it out, I'll have a link in the description. It is free to download. To wrap up the melodies, I added this dreamy sounding preset from Flex and played the chords. I also inverted some of the other notes over here for the second half, I just thought it sounded nice. I just added a high pass EQ and a small reverb for the effects. 
And the last sounds I added were a couple of these plucky synth sounds from Cymatics, just to give the song some cool ear candy. Keitronata's drums are the heart of his songs. His drums are always in your face, using some pretty hard kicks and some slapping snare claps. He also likes to pair them up with some interesting percussion sounds like shakers, live hi-hat loops, sometimes with flanger effects, and other instruments like wood blocks. I'm also putting the same swing effect on the drums that I did on the bass. It's not really that noticeable, but you can definitely hear it with the kick. A big part of Keitronada's drum sound is that they don't feel too robotic or on the grid. They feel lively and kind of sloppy sometimes. This drum style is definitely something he picked up from his two major influences, Jay Dilla and Madlib two producers that are known for purposefully leaving imperfections. Just those little touches, like having a snare come in a little late, can add to the overall lively feel of the beat. And if it's a little too off the grid, that's okay, because we're gonna glue the drums together with sidechain. There's a lot of different methods to sidechain, but I like to do it with Fruity Limiter. First, you go to the kick and press sidechain to this track on the instrument you want to sidechain. Under the affected sound, open up Fruity Limiter, set it to compressor mode, and link the kick as input number one under sidechain. And then mess around with the threshold plus release plus ratio plus young boy better. <laughs> now the sound will dip in volume when the kick plays. It's a really cool effect, I like how it sounds, and it gives everything this kind of dipping, bouncy feel. With that being said, the drums are pretty much done. The last thing I added was this little snare loop and a couple of cymbals. So as you might know, Keitronata doesn't sing in his songs, and a lot of his songs are instrumental. Damn, why don't I make this section? I'm just playing. I wanted to pay a little homage to the style of songs that really propelled Kate Trinata's career, so I'm gonna use an early 2000s R&B vocal on top of my beat. For my track, I'm using I Wanna Be Down by Brandy. I just, I love that song. So first I had to find the acapella online, speed it up from 86 BPM to 113 BPM, and added a few effects like a limiter for peak reduction, reverb, delay, and another limiter to add to the sidechain. And of course, it wouldn't be a Keitronata type beat if I didn't chop up the sample at all. So I took a section of the hook, ran it through Fruity Slicer, and did a little chopping. Real talk. I think Keitronata is in the perfect spot of fame as a producer. He's critically acclaimed. Grammy award winning and beloved by all types of music fans, hitting the perfect sweet spot of hip hop, R&B, funk and electronic. He's a true master of the craft. And I've actually never heard anyone say, oh, hey, you know that one K Tronada remix? Oh man, I hate that. I think it's physically impossible. I would like to get to know if I could be the kind of girl that you could be down for. Cause when I look at you, I feel something tells me That you're the kind of guy that I should make a move on And if I don't let you know, then I won't be for real I could be wrong, but I feel like something could be going on The more I see it, the more that it becomes so true There ain't no other for me Show that you cry, you're, if that's a 